Welcome back to Slipstream Auto Sport. Let's take you for a lap of Daytona, which is coming up in just under a month. Coming into turn one, you want to be in second gear, hold as close as possible to the inside and then push out third, fourth, it's flat out through here, very minimal input. When you get to this particular corner, make sure you get your braking right and your trail braking needs to be spot on to roll the car. When you go out of this corner, make sure that your throttle action is not like the one that I just did there because that was just too much throttle and then you get that oversteer, understeer action and you just start losing a lot of time. When you get to this particular corner, again, trail braking is very, very important, but make sure that you get the rotation going properly so that you can get a good exit coming out of here. Now, keep in mind that this lap is a one minute 44.4 and if you want to be competitive during this particular race at minimum you will need to be in the mid 143 so this is just a guide to get you to see the lines that that we use and but there is a lot a lot of time to be found on this particular lap that's why it's really important to practice now for the race don't leave it with a week to go it won't be enough Coming on to the last particular final corners, this is one of the most important parts of the track. You wanna get a good exit coming out of here to get that top speed. Be careful coming out of that corner because if you just get that wrong by another millimeter, like I did over there, you will get a penalty. That one to 1.2 seconds, it will destroy you down the straight and you'll just have cars passing you left, right and center. Keep in mind that the tone of 24 hours is also about making sure that you avoid the faster traffic. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's lap guide. I cannot wait to see you on the next one.